Hello everyone, this is the Batman Statue Collector and I'm once again coming to you from my Bat Cave. And uh, this particular episode I'm going to be doing a review on these, uh, not necessarily statues, uh, but they are part of my collection. Uh, these are of course the bank robber masks uh, from the Dark Knight, uh, the amazing first part of that film. Uh, one of my favorite sections of film ever. And so I just kind of wanted to share you, share with you some of the uh, the amazing details of these masks. Um, these are high quality masks, um, and they are not the the run of the mill cheap ones like you find at some of the mask stores. Um, they are just very very well done. And so I just kind of wanted to give you some close up details of these masks and and kind of go from there. Uh, these masks, um, these were produced uh, in the UK um, by a company called Ministry of Masks. Uh, I will include their link below, so if you're interested in purchasing them. Uh, they are quite pricey per mask. Uh, I think they're uh, generally over $100 per mask, so they're, you know, they're fairly expensive. Um, but they are very, very good quality. Um, I'll kind of start here at the end and kind of show you uh, some of the details. This, of course, is the bus driver uh, mask. Um, and you see some of the, the hair detailing. One thing I really, really like about these um, are they're, they're meant to look very dirty and used. And that's exactly the way they were um, in the movie itself. So you can really see um, the, just the detail, the quality, the paintwork. Everything looks really, really nice. Um, again, if you, um, it's a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's still a rubber type material, but um, it's still thick enough. Um, it holds its form. Um, I have these on styrofoam heads that I've painted black. Um, so they hold the shape really, really nice. Um, this is one of my absolute favorites of the bunch. This is, of course, Grumpy. And uh, I absolutely, this is one of my favorite masks from the movie. Um, I love the scarring in the mask. Uh, it matches up exactly uh, to the film. Also, you notice there's a, a Band-Aid. Um, it's just every detail is here um, on these masks. Um, very, very well done. Uh, very creepy as well, if you ask me. But uh, again, I just the, the level of detail um, is really second to none in these masks. Um, there's just no detail left behind. I love the staining. Just, you can really see it in this one. Very dirty looking. All right, here of course is the Joker himself. This is the Bozo mask. Um, I absolutely love this mask because it was featured in the old 60s Batman uh, with Cesar Romero. Uh, they took that idea um, when the Joker wore that mask and of course Heath Ledger famously wore it in The Dark Knight. Uh, again, lots of lots of details. Uh, the paint is nice and, and kind of sloppy like it was in the film. Um, but this mask, there's, there's been lots of replica masks of this one, and uh, I feel like this is bar, by, by far um, the best one on the market. I, um, some of them are, are kind of close, but I really feel like this one looks just really, really good. Um, so you can't go wrong buying that one. Okay, the next one, uh, this of course is Happy. This is a, the Happy mask. I really like this mask as well. Uh, I love the hair on it. You can see some of the detailing. Paint works nice. Again, you can see the scarring, the dirtiness of it. You can really see the dirt, how they, they did the dirt. Again, it just looks very used, very worn. And then this, of course, is the, the last one I had. I had a, a, a last, I had a sixth mask, um, and I can't remember the name of that mask, but um, I didn't like that one quite as much, so I did sell that one. Um, this, of course, is Chuckles. Probably my least favorite of all the masks, but uh, again, the quality is, is really, really good. So again, this review is just kind of quick. Um, simple. I just wanted to kind of give a quick plug to the maker um, of this of these masks. It is again Ministry of Masks. Uh, they also did a Bane mask, and they have all kinds of creature and different hats and things that they've made. But uh, I'm just really happy to have this in my collection. And it's not for everybody. Again, it's not a statue. Um, but if you're a Batman fan or a Dark Knight fan, it's just a really cool thing to have in your collection. Life size masks. Um, very creepy, you know, it doesn't creep me out at all, but it does creep my family out a little bit that doesn't really like clowns. Um, and so it's not for everybody, but again, just wanted to give you kind of a, a close up view of these. Um, so you can see these 
what they look like. I mean, they're just really, really, really well done. All right, like I said, real quick review. Uh, I just want to share them with you guys. Um, this has been the Batman Statue Collector, and as always, I'll see you in the Batcave.